Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. A cold cucumber traditionally uses a Japanese cucumber, but we're going to use a Mexican cucumber today, and I'm going to peel it in stripes for the awe effect as well as nutritional value. Awe effect, of course, being that wow factor that you get when you have a dish served right in front of you and it looks so delicious you just can't wait to get into it. Well this cold cucumber will have just that. Now take your knife go right down the center and normally you could split it up and chop it here with a thin cucumber but because this is so large we're going to cut it twice on each side. Just like so. Turn it here and then we're going to turn the blade on a 45 so you cut at an angle. Chop it up into nice bite-sized, congruent slices. The truth is, you can cut it up any way you want to do it. It's your recipe, it's your kitchen, you're the boss. The only thing that matters is that you get it done and people like it. So just scoop it up in a bowl here, we'll set it aside and we'll get going on the dressing. Now the dressing is really easy, it's one part, one part, one part. This is soy sauce. So, depending on how many cucumbers you're chopping up, it is going to depend on how much sauce you do. So, the dressing here, one part soy, one part vinegar, and one part sugar. I know some are particular about the sugar, and that's fine, you can use it sparingly. But it gets through of this over the top of this cucumber, adds a very, very pleasant taste. Of course, it's not finished without adding some sesame oil and be careful and sparingly with this because that can destroy your recipe. Give it a good toss, make sure it's everything is evenly coated and last but not least some sesame seed. Throw that in there and once again another toss and serve. And that's all there is to it. Cold cucumber right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.